Hi, Mario here. Welcome to my channel. This time we will be looking at correlations between construction techniques of ancient buildings and their orientation. For example, building blocks with knobs can be found all around the world. Are there connections? Besides looking at knobs, we have looked at polygonal walls. Here is one of the best known polygonal walls, that of Sacsayhuaman in Peru. And besides that, we have also looked into what is called baffled blocks. There are connections found, and they are sometimes mind-boggling. There appears to be a common ground between all these typical building features – knobs, polygonal walls and baffled blocks especially ancient structures on the Eastern Hemisphere, that is from Europe to Asia, focus excessively on the poles 1 to 5. We think that the used techniques were very advanced. It seems to be very likely most of the blocks that show these typical features were molten, cast and so molded in this way. That is not a technique for a primitive culture. In fact, it requires a lot of energy, advanced planning and advanced methods to apply these techniques. Most, if not all of these ancient structures were originally built such a long time ago that no one can remember anything from this era, not even stories. They are lost in oceans of time. Some myths may have survived over hundreds of thousands of years, like the myth that Teotihuacan was built by the gods. The Hopi Indians believe that we have suffered three previous world cataclysms. To some degree we agree with that. We have found proof that there were even more former civilizations than only three. We think that the following practice has taken place all over the world. Later settlers, like the Greeks, the Turks, the Romans, the Mayans, the Incas and so on, found the remains of these lost civilizations, renovated their structures and claimed it as their own achievements. These twisted truths have remained unchallenged by mainstream historians and archaeologists that are truly missed opportunities for professional scientists. We have corrected these falsifications with our groundbreaking method that is slowly rolling around the world. And now we have looked at the underlying patterns of ancient structures that show signs of an advanced construction method. That can be blocks with knobs, polygonal shaped stones, massive unliftable megaliths weighing over 1000 metric tons, baffled blocks or cushiony shaped stones. We examined almost 170 ancient structures. This world map shows where these sites with sometimes multiple structures are located. Typical is that we found on the Western Hemisphere only 25 structures on together 13 sites that contain some form of advanced engineering of the stone blocks. What is so typical? We found very few structures on the Western Hemisphere that show signs of advanced engineering. Well, these are also directly the most famous ones in the world, like Machu Picchu, Ollen Tatambo and Sacsayhuaman. The Eastern Hemisphere has many more mysterious sites, but they are much less famous. On the Eastern Hemisphere we found 135 structures on together 78 sites where we found one or more techniques 
also, one of the striking things is that these sites focus as excessively on the poles 1 to 5 as other ancient structures that show none of these features. Striking is also that archaeology has no interest in these awesome stone technologies. They hardly get any attention, while it is obvious that it is no ordinary stone cutting technique. What we found is comparable with a radio signal with a lot of noise in it. However, the message in the broadcast is still clearly audible. Around 50% of the structures that showed some sort of advanced construction method focused on the poles 1 to 5. While, as seen from the location of these structures, the poles 1 to 5 cover only an area of about 22%. This pattern is comparable with the patterns we found in our main database that now contains over 1000 ancient structures. This pattern proves that these structures relate to the poles with a probability of over 99.99%. And this means that they are related to each other. Many of these ancient structures are as old as the pole they are oriented to. And that means they are ranging in age from 130,000 years up to 350,000 years. There are little over 50% of these structures that did not focus on any of the poles, and that can have many reasons. Some of these structures were originally raised as defensive walls. Defensive works orient typically on the local geography for defensive purposes, and not on the cardinals, like for example astronomical structures. From other structures was so little left that the walls that were still intact might not represent the original situation correctly. Around 50% of the structures do not correlate with any of the poles 1 to 5, while the other 50% clearly focus on these very small areas of the poles 1 to 5. And this is perfectly normal, simply because not all ancient structures were once cardinally oriented, like not all contemporary structures are not cardinally oriented as well. It would be crazy and implausible if we would claim that all ancient structures would have been cardinally oriented to one of the ancient poles. Two techniques that have the least correlations with our ancient poles are knobs and beveling, beveled blocks. This can have many different reasons, they were more often involved in defensive works and so not originally cardinally oriented. One other reason is that this technique could have been more often used during periods of crustal unrest. What else did we find? Knobs correlate the strongest with pole 1 our current pole. It seems to be a more recent technology. We also think that knobs are a remain of some sort of a casting technology, an advanced casting technology. Polygonal walls, as well as beveled blocks, correlate strongly with pole 2. It seems to be a more ancient technique than the technique that left knobs. That means that most of these foundations are older than 200,000 years. It is a long time for a story to survive. Recent research shows that polygonal walls are very resistant to earthquakes. When we overlay a map of shallow earthquakes heavier than 6 with the locations where we found polygonal walls, we can see they show overlaps. And that is interesting. Modern science is beginning to discover that these walls are very resistant to very heavy earthquakes, and that is what we see on many locations. Perfect polygonal walls with inferior later restorations on top. The so-called ancient cultures, like that of the Greeks, the Romans, the Mayans, and so on, renovated the cities of lost civilizations with their inferior building techniques. 
That is what we see everywhere. And because dating of stone buildings is impossible other than the method that we have developed, it is crucial to understand why identifying the orientation of the original foundation is so important. And in the same time, understanding it is not a simple cure for all ancient buildings. Cushiony blocks correlate both stronger with pole 2 and pole 4. Seen over time, it seems to be a more widely used technique than all the other techniques. We find them everywhere. Hence, it cannot be said that all knowledge was lost over time. All techniques are, to a greater or lesser extent, found on all the poles. Finally, this research delivered some interesting results. However, one thing is clear. Our ancient history is complex and diverse, and for most, very extensive. It cannot be simplified to a few simple statements like that of Stone Age, Bronze Age and Iron Age. Stone survives all other materials that are long decomposed. They are the silent messengers of very advanced lost civilizations. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.